Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a full screen menu. And in addition to that, um, I'm going to show you some CSS code and jQuery code that can help you stop the page from scrolling up and down while the full screen menu is shown. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I need a trigger. So I'm going to just use a link block. And in the link block, I'm going to add in a hamburger menu button. All right, there we go. Let me just size this how I want. I'll just give it a class name of a menu. And let's add some padding inside and let's make this smaller. Let's double click and make this high DPI. Yeah, actually, let's call this menu icon and make it smaller. 75, 75. No, 50. Actually, we don't need height. It's going to be ratio anyways. There we go. Uh, 35. All right. And what I always like to do is uh, give it a more button feeling, giving it a border radius and also a border. So that way it feels more like a button. It's a fairly huge button. But let's do this. Okay. This is just styling points right here. All right. All right. Huge button. All right. So this is going to be the trigger. All right, now we need to make a custom menu and we're not using the nav bar component. We're just making a custom menu, All right? So uh, to do that, this is the same thing as making a custom modal, All right? So I'm gonna drag this in and we'll call this uh, nav, set this to fixed and make sure that the Z index is high with a bunch of nines, set it to full and we can give this any background treatment we want. Let's go something like this, don't matter. So you can style this however you want. Then I'm gonna add my nav links, something like this. Uh, nav link, no underline, we'll make it white. And we'll use Montserrat. So again, this is just styling points. This doesn't really matter. I'll capitalize and we'll set this to be huge. Um, here's a quick tip. Check this out. Have you ever used VWs inside of your typography? So watch this. This will size down with the viewport width. All right. So maybe you can try that. All right. So I'm going to set this to four and set this to display inline block. Oh, I'm going to set this to VW as well for the line height. Set the margins out a bit. All right, now I can just copy, paste, paste, paste. Oh, they're all in one line. So what I need to do is this nav display vertical. So display flex and then vertical. That way they're all like this. And we'll align them to the left. That's what we want. Good to go. All right. And then lastly, we need um, we need the close button. So I'm gonna drag in another link block, and inside of that, I'm gonna have a X for delete, or I mean delete <laughs> for close. I'm gonna call this close icon and do the same thing. Probably 35 pixels. Make it a button. So this I'm gonna call, for the actual link, I'm gonna call it close. This is gonna be my trigger. So let's style this a bit, say 20, border radius five. And let's make this white like this. Actually background, there we go. And I wanna push this to the top right so we can use position absolute. Top right, push it away a bit. Looks good. Okay, so we're good. Uh, let's go ahead and this one, we'll set it to display none. And now we do the interactions. Okay. So this right here is menu. So this one is going to on mouse click. We're going to start animation. We're going to call this open menu. Okay. And this nav right here is going to be our target. So now that we have that selected, 
we're going to display flex. All right, so that's display flex. And because it's just setting the display, there's not really any timing that you can do. So that's fine. We're going to close this and then we're done with that interaction. Now we're going to go to this close and even though we can't see it, we can we, we can still ed, um, edit this. We can still add a, a interaction trigger. So I'm going to add mouse click on first click, create a new animation called close menu. And this one is going to go target nav. I'm going to set this to hide and show and set this to none. Okay. And that should be it. If I preview, click, click. Cool. All right. Now, let's go ahead and make sure that this nav only uh, has a height of 100 VH. We don't want it to be any taller than that. Okay. And the other thing is, the question is, what if there is a section, okay? So let me put this section under. So what if there's a section like this, and it's like a height of 700 VH? Oops, not on the menu. Not you. I'm talking about you. There we go. A height of 700 VH. So it'll keep scrolling. And if I preview, I have that scrolling happening, okay? What if I don't want that scroll to happen? What if I don't want, don't want that scroll to happen or not show a scroll bar anywhere when I open the menu? This is where custom code comes in, okay? So if I go to the custom code area, you need to add some uh, CSS and JavaScript. Okay, so for CSS, we're going to start with style in the head tag, and we're going to call this, uh, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it no scroll. Okay. And this is going to be overflow hidden. Okay. And that's it. So when I apply no scroll, the class name to an element, it's going to apply overflow hidden. All right, now this is what we're going to do. We're going to start some JavaScript. Okay. So we're telling the browser, hey, I got some JavaScript, and we're going to say, hey, with jQuery, I want to target, single quote, and I'm going to target the open menu thing. Hold on, let me save. What's it called? Oh, it's just called menu. Hold on. Wait, it's called menu here, but it's link block. Okay, confused, but I'll keep going. So I'm going to target the menu. Okay, so when I click on an element that has a class name of menu, on click, so when I, cl when I click on menu, I know JavaScript is weird when you go backwards, right? When you click on menu, do something. And that's what function means. Okay, and as always, I'll have a copy of this script in the YouTube description below. So click on menu, do something. And what is that something? Well, I want you to find an HTML element called body. Okay, and notice how I didn't put a period. The reason why is because I'm telling JavaScript to target an HTML element named body. If I put dot body, then now it's looking for a selector or class name of body. But no, I want this to be applied straight onto the HTML element body. And then I'm going to say on the body, add class, and I'm going to give it a class name of no scroll. Okay, and then I can just copy this and say close. Okay, so it's the other element. When I click on close, do something. And what that something is, is on the body, remove class no scroll. Save. 
and I'm done. And let's let's so you can see um, even better. Let me add a a picture. Let me add a background image to this. So I'm gonna add a background uh, image to to this. Choose image, a swimmer. Yeah, it's gonna look bad. Actually, yeah, let's just do it like that. So you can actually tell it's scrolling. So in Webflow, it scrolls. And now watch, if I open this and I scroll, I'm not at the top because I scrolled down. So I'm able to scroll, but I don't want to scroll when the menu is open, all right? So just publish. And I'm able to scroll, click on that. Now I'm not able to scroll. Watch, I'm scrolling, if you listen. Yeah, so you hear it, I'm scrolling, but if I click out, I'm still at the top. Now check this out. Just to show you, I'm being legit. Here, let me make this, um, let me make this fix to the top. Give it a background color. There we go. All right, let me polish it one more time. Refresh. So right there, see how there's that weird line? I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'm still there. Okay. So one more thing I want to show you so you can actually see what's happening. Let me... Put this right here. All right. So see this body right here? Let me refresh. So see that body right there? If I click on it, that's what the JavaScript did. It added no scroll. And if I look at the uh, CSS, it added the overflow hidden. If I click on this, the class name is gone. And so now I can scroll. All right. Hope that helps. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a comment or a future tutorial video suggestion, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. If you wanna support this channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button, the like, and the notification bell. If you wanna follow me on Twitter, it's at the Pixel Geek. That's about it, thank you so much. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.